so Super Mario Kart. And the reason I, I went back, um, I, I have a copy of that. I have the physical version of Super Mario Kart. Um, this is not the original copy I had back in the day. Uh, we were talking about it yesterday. My house got robbed years ago. They stole all my Super Nintendo stuff, all my Nintendo 64 stuff. And I started collecting stuff back up. Uh, this one I actually got at a an EB Games, which is now GameStop, uh, for five dollars. Like this is during the the GameCube N6, the GameCube PS2 era, and they just wanted to get rid of the SNES games. And so yeah, for five bucks I got a uh, classic Mario Kart here. And I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Um, I can't remember who this was. Oh, Player Pixel. I can't play Puyo Puyo without it translated. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's a that's that's rough. Although, yeah, the I have Puyo Puyo Tetris in Japan actually. I can grab that from the shelf. But yeah, reading the menus in the Japanese games when you play those, it's it's tough. Yeah, Mario Kart revolutionary game, and it, it really like created a whole genre of racing game and like it's wildly popular now. I don't think this one's aged particularly well. I think when we t talk about the pantheon of Mario Kart games, I think this is in the lower half. Um, I think my fundamental issue with it is it's really hard to look at. Like, it's not ugly, but the way that the textures are set up, it's very seizure-inducing. It's it's hard to look at. And just the, the textures on the ground, they've done a lot of stuff to kind of fix that effect but like when you're in like bowser's castle and you see all those bricks and they're like scaling around like it's really hard to look at and i get dizzy uh playing the original mario kart but they have some classic courses on here it's got the battle mode um it's also really hard <laughs> trying to beat all of the cups in this game is insane not impossible but the, the computer at the highest level is pretty much perfect so anything less than that and you will lose uh, some of the other games on this list, um, F-Zero, I don't have a physical copy of that, but I have it on Wii U Virtual Console and SNES Classic. I personally prefer F-Zero F -Zero X, uh, but that's still a good game. Kirby's Dream Course is cool. Joe and Mac 2, Lost in the Tropics, I've never played that. Um, Stunt Race Effects, I don't have that. That's a really cool game. It probably hasn't aged well, but the fact that they got the, po the polygons working in a racing game was kind of cool. Also on that list, Star Fox. That one. This is one of the reasons I got an SNES. I that eventually pushed me over the tipping point. We were Toys R Us in my area had a Star Fox demo machine, and I played this first level over and over and over again. And when I finally got an SNES, it was packed in with Super Mario World and Star Fox. And so I I I've played this game to death, and I love it so much. What the heck is a Joe and Mac, and why is that in the roster? <laughs> and you love Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Yeah, Joe and Mac, I think it's a platforming game. There's a bunch of games from Jalico in here, which are not the best. It just kind of gets them to 20. And Super Ghouls and Ghosts, those games are really hard. I can't I can't play them. I, I, I am not a true gamer because I I can't like beat the first level of those things. They're They're really tough. Um, Super Earth Defense Force is on here. Um, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario World, Super Metroid, another one, like an all-time classic game, arguably the best game in the series. Some would say the best game of all time. I wouldn't necessarily go that far. Uh, but yeah, I own like three copies of this game. I've have it, I've bought it like on the Wii U Virtual Console and I have it on the SNES Classic as well. I always get lost in these games. Even though they have maps, the mapping system I find confusing in this one, I always get lost in every Metroid game. So I've never actually made it very far in Super Metroid, but I do love the series. Pe Metroid Prime is the one that I got farthest in, and so I'm really excited for Metroid Prime 4 on the Switch when that comes out eventually. <laughs> Super Puyo Puyo 2, that one's in Japanese. Um, Super Soccer, Super Tennis, like, ah, uh, they're fine. And A Link to the Past, which we've talked about a lot. Uh, that one's a really cool game as well, and one of the best of all time, arguably the best Zelda game ever. 